Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from AppsDBA.info. In the previous session, we upgraded our uh, database from uh, 12C to 19C. Uh, so if you see that, you know, uh, I'm just connected to the 19C environment and uh, and if you see that I am into 19.12 and the status is also open. So now what we'll do is we'll perform few uh, few steps after the upgrade right yeah so there are some post install steps what i need to do so first we need to uh, connect as the user and run the first script and also run the script and the second script and we need to change this parameter the compatible parameter show parameter oh it's still 12 yeah so now we need to change the compatible uh, parameter so now we have to after the uh, no, now the database is upgraded uh, so after the database upgrade, we also need to run the you know uh, uh, you know AD grants, uh, and also there is uh, you know we have to run the grant create procedure privileges on CTX, compile the invalid objects, and also grant the data store. So we'll do one by one. So I connected as a you know, application user, and if I'm correct, I need to go to Apple Top Admin. Oh, okay. Just let me check. It should be Admin and SQL. Uh, okay, I <laughs> I am struck. Uh, let me see where is the file. So okay, it is there in Apple Top Admin. That's what I thought. Uh, oh, okay. I shouldn't have given SQL. Okay, now copy the AD grants to the database location. And now what you do? You run from the database star. Go to temp and uh, run. The statement like this by passing apps as a parameter yes perfect yeah so this script is getting executed and uh, we have to uh, okay now oh, we need to run this parameter yeah we don't need to even copy this Okay, we just have to go to that file location and run it. Yeah, so what I'll do, I will go to application tab to this particular location and execute this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now that's the problem. The list is down. So what I'll do, I'll copy this file to the database tar and from the database star i i execute this file yeah so this is completed now we need to compile the invalid objects which i'll do by running this script and uh, after that we need to grant the database store so in my total document one thing you observed I normally color them uh, so that you can copy and paste it this is dev CTV okay so that is the nomenclature I normally use it uh, so that you guys can follow that you know as much as possible I just try to give this so whichever are like you know marked in hello
okay yeah so there are no no invalid objects so we are good so now the next one is we just have to run this i am already connected to database node so we run this so next one is we need to yeah so we need to gather the statistics for the sys schema so for that what i do i'm at the right place okay for that first one need to copy uh, the stats from the application tag right you copy to the temp location and come to the database star and and we need to run the script okay so this will take for a while i'll just pause the session well the script is completed so now i just connect it and remove the restrictions and uh, exit it so that concludes our gather schema statistics we did like couple of steps so uh, you know uh, like you know we did alter trigger system ebs login dot compile and we have ran few scripts and uh, ran the ad grants and uh, uh, you know created procedure privileges on ctx is and we compile the invalid objects and uh, granted the database stored and also gather statistics for sys schema so that's about this particular session next session we have very interesting session where we are going to convert database from to multi tenant architecture uh, so let me uh, you know uh, complete the session with this particular topic